friends, so um, welcome to another video. We're, today we're going to be making some leaf plates. Um, these are actually the plates we have for our wedding, so we served all of the food. We had the wedding in our back garden and we served all the food on the leaf plates, so they're like kind of a special memory for me, but they're a very super easy thing to make and um, I just think they look really nice all together. I might actually just take you out, we'll be just taking some photos. Today the Harry Potter's filming. Um, but yeah, these are kind of how they look finished just so you can get an idea. So this has a bit of a green Aribe style glaze and this is a more like autumnal kind of um, glaze. It has like a little bit of crackle in it where it's thick. But you, I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up on camera. Um, but I think it's just like very striking with the leaf pattern and oh, this is like kind of a fake chino that we have as well kind of trying to use those kind of natural earthy autumnal tones um actually this is a fun one this is a really big one so you can really vary the sizes depending on what size leaf you have so yeah this one is really cool very big so yeah so you can actually shape the dishes um on like anything you have like if you have like bowls different like mixing bowls are perfect but i actually just bought these like kind of polystyrene um they come in a sphere but we actually just cut them in half just because I can keep them in the studio I was using bowls in the studio and we needed them for the house anyway so um, I will link these down below um, if you want to do the same but yeah so I have just some stoneware clay here and I'm going to start to roll it out so if you want you can use a canvas just to help you with that um, and a wooden rolling pin so just start by flattening it out I usually do like a bit of a cross so start this way banging it down and then do that way banging it down i haven't weighed the clay sorry i'm really bad at weighing clay i would say it's probably two, one and 1.5 kg 2 kg but it really like depends on what size bowl you want what size leaf you want so i would say just um kind of like a start with like one kg or something like that and then just increase from there depending on if you want a bigger or decrease if you want a smaller bowl and then you can just flip it over do the same on the other side so this just gets the kind of ball of clay down into a bit of a slab before you start and then i'm going to start rolling so i kind of roll you try to roll in one motion i'm quite still quite bad at rolling evenly <laughs> Just keep flipping it so yeah so i'm just going to start to roll this out keep flipping it and rotating it like 90 degrees just so that you do get that more even thickness um in a way it is not so important with these just because they're so organic and it, you won't really notice any difference in if there is some difference in thickness but you can also use spaces if you want to control the thickness this is about um, one centimeter, so I would say this is on the thicker side for a dish, but if you want to make like a large dish, this is quite a good thickness. I would say you can go down to probably like one, 0 0.5 centimeters for like one of the smaller dishes. So I'm just gonna start to use those just to really make sure it's kind of nice and even. So yeah, I would say this is still like a little bit on the thicker side, um, but because you're going to be pressing a leaf into it, you don't want it to be like too, too thin because it will just um, kind of crack where the vein of the leaf goes down. And I'm just going to give it just one last roll, just because I think it is slightly, I would say one centimetre is on the thicker side. So I'm just going to reduce it just a little bit. So I think that's good. So now I'm just going to get a leaf. I picked some earlier. Um, I quite like courgette leaves actually. I've always found I found that they work really well. So this is a courgette leaf. Um, just be careful because they are spiky. It's a squash leaf. Oh, sorry, it's a squash leaf. Yeah, like winter squash. In it, not summer squash. Not summer squash. It's like very... pumpkins, basically like pumpkin leaf. Um, oh, oh it, yeah, definitely use gloves because that's just gone into my tongue. Oh, ow, no, no, okay, it's okay. 
Oh, they're so spiky. Anyway, yeah, definitely use gloves. I go, I say that, pick it up again. But I think they come like in a really nice like dish kind of shape. Some leaves are really like too long. But again, if you want to do like a little serving platter, like the long leaves are nice. But yeah, and the veins aren't too sticky outy. Um, this one is like kind of like more of a kale, kale kind of cabbage kind of leaf can work well. And also if you want to do like really big platters, like rhubarb leaves work well. Um, so yeah, just have a look at what you can get your hands on. Um, you can even obviously use like cabbage leaves if you want to just go to the supermarket to get one. So yeah, first um, I'm going to see which one will fit on my dish first. I would say that's kind of more or less a nice size. Like you want it to be a bit smaller than the clay you've rolled out. Yeah, this shape is also quite nice. Maybe I'll use that, that because that's quite like a different type of shape. It kind of looks a little bit like a maple leaf actually. This is also a nice, another um, squash leaf. So... It's a courgette leaf. Courgette leaf, this one. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, <I'm saying. laughs> so you first want to trim the leaf a little bit, especially this sticky out stalky part. So get that off. First, like that. And then... What I found is good is actually just to roll your leaf before you roll it into the clay so that the veins don't stick into the clay too much. What can happen if you don't do that is that your clay will just easily crack along that line. So I just make sure I at least roll out the sticky out part. And then just do like a gentle roll for the, le the rest because you still want to retain the structure, that's why we're using it. But that means that this is like squashed down now. Um, and then just clean the rolling pin. So now I'm going to place that onto the clay I've just rolled out and you want to do it obviously like vein side down. Place that and then just give that a roll so that gets stuck into the clay. Something like that. Nice. And then I'm just going to cut around it to so just not too close because we're going to do another trim, but I just want to get most of the excess clay out. So just really rough around. I try to just generally follow the shape of the leaf very roughly. And then I'm going to get one of my formers. I think this is a little bit high so you could prop it up just so that the dish kind of hangs down if you can ah it fits quite nicely to this okay this is random like this is a sticky rice pot to make sticky rice i mean it's a bit hard to get your hands on so you can use anything else <laughs> don't have to go to <laughs> this thailand is just, <laughs> this is just what i have because like we made a lot of sticky rice recently anyway so just to prop it up a little bit higher and then get your leaf try to place it on actually something that might be a good idea is actually just put a cloth it's especially if you're using like a um kind of a glass bowl or something um just so that it doesn't stick but because you have the leaf there it probably won't stick but yeah it's just an extra safety me measure so yeah and then I'm just going to shape it over that now and because it's like I really want to like retain that kind of organic leaf shape I'm not going to like make this a perfect circle I quite like it folding a little bit but you still want it to be usable so just do a gentle shape around that bowl so it it does start to form that dish but you're not making it like perfect if you know what I mean so I'm just kind of squeezing those sides down just help it form like more of a dish kind of shape but I just love it like when that curls out that really like reminds me of a leaf so I like to leave some of those in so yeah it's kind of looking a little bit like that and actually if you have the cloth you can just help to move it if you're like oh it's gone a little bit off center you want it to be like 
more or less all even all the way around so yeah I would say something like that so it's just forming that kind of shape of a dish but you're still retaining that organic edge so now I just leave that overnight um and it then tomorrow it'll be firm enough to trim up so you need to sponge it oh yeah sponge good that's why I keep you around yeah so then once it's shaped then I use that a sponge a very damp sponge okay sorry damp sponge not too wet <laughs> just to smooth over the base so just to get any of those kind of puckering or texture you got from the canvas just to smooth that over and it also just helps with the shaping but don't be too aggressive because obviously you still have a leaf in there so if you really sponge too much sometimes I find if I'm like really going through it sometimes the leaf can tend to poke through or some areas get really thin so you just want to do this quite gently yeah and tomorrow we'll have another chance obviously to go over it again and get any bits we missed today but this is just to get the general shape you don't want to overwork it and get it too wet um so yeah you just want to leave that overnight to dry out and then tomorrow what we can do is then flip it over it will we'll retain the shape and then we'll just do some trimming and finishing up so yep yeah, i'll see you in a little bit tomorrow hey friends so it's the next day and we're ready to take the leaf dish off so it should be much firmer um so it will just come off and retain its shape so you just want to set it down if you're finding it like a bit wobbly just like tap it onto the surface and it will just flatten that base out for you so it's more stable remove the contraption <laughs> and so we just want to first remove the leaf um, you can use a needle tool or a knife just to get uh, in under the kind of it, it is a little bit fiddly because of the I recommend a needle tool actually if you have one just to get underneath so you don't make any kind of mark I'm just going to take off, yeah, the central stem is a bit annoying, like the, sorry, the, what is that, a vein? So if you can, as long as you can get that guy out, then the rest should follow. Perfect. And that's what I mean about rolling the leaf. You can see that that central, like the, the main vein of the heart has really like stuck into the clay, even with the rolling. So if you didn't roll it, that would definitely cause like a crack or a hole. Um, and so now, yeah, we're just going to trim it. Um, so I personally like to follow the shape of the leaf to make it look a bit more organic. You can, if you want, just do a regular circle. But I kind of follow the shape a little bit. So I'm going to start here. And I try, if I can, to kind of do them in like one stroke. But we are going to, you know, use a sponge to smooth it over. So don't worry too much. It's more important to get that shape of the leaf you want. This is quite a blunt knife, like a potter's knife, but you can also use a scalpel. You just have to be a bit more careful, but it will cut through the clay a little bit easier than this. So that's it, more or less trimmed up. And now I'm just gonna sponge those edges to smooth them over. And actually when I do this, what I like to do is actually shape the rim of the dish a little bit better, just so that it gets more of that, it looks more like leaf-like, it gets that flow of like an organic shape, rather this is kind of a bit, um, a bit cut out if you know what I mean, whereas this, if when, when we're just sponging it over, you can really get that kind of floaty leaf look, just by applying a bit of pressure onto that edge and um supporting it with your hand on the inside so you can kind of change the shape ever so slightly and I, I find it just looks a bit more organic a bit more free just a bit nicer if you compare that side to that side it's looking a bit more leaf-like so yeah just go over the whole the edge of it and yeah, I would say the thickness is pretty good for this kind of size of leaf. 
I would say if you're making smaller dishes, like for example, dipping dishes or smaller dishes, I would reduce the thickness to um, half a centimeter. I wouldn't go less than that probably, but yeah, I would say this thickness, if your dish is any smaller than this would be look a bit chunky. But if that's the look you want to go for, that's awesome. So I also like to just shape a bit more the um, point of the leaf, just to make that really um, kind of a bit curvy and sticking up, like more of an exaggerated form, I find. I just personally like the look of that, kind of like waving it up into that point. And also on the other side, so you can really use that sponge to really get a curve into that pointy part kind of makes it look like a little bit less um, like geometric or like, you know, artificial, just getting a little bit of a twist in that. But that's it pretty much finished. So you basically want to obviously leave that to dry, bone dry, but then I'm gonna biscuit and um, I'll show you me glazing it. I think I actually have some clips of when I made these previously of me glazing it, which I, if I can find those, I'll probably just insert those in um, and I think I've already shown you, yeah, I've already shown you them glazed and how they look. So yeah, I'll probably skip to those clips or insert them here um, if I have them. So here I have um, kind of my Aribe style glaze. If you're interested, just leave me a comment and I can get, send you the link to it. Um, and I'm just using one of these, like, I think they're called like Hakame brushes. So these are quite nice. You can get them from most like pottery supply stores. I might be able to find some to link down below um, and they kind of just hold quite a lot of glaze so when you're actually like applying glaze with a brush these are quite good to use. So I'm going to just dip it, just take the excess drips off and then just follow, I first do the edge just to get that like kind of a nice edge and then the glaze usually just like does go into the veins of the leaf print anyway. And here I'm kind of purposely trying not to make it so even. I would rather the surface look quite like handmade and organic. So now I've got pretty much it all covered. I'm just gonna go in on a second layer into those deeper crevices where the leaf veins have pushed into the clay. And then last thing, I'm just gonna sponge the edges. So you just want to make sure that's really nice and crisp. Just pulling a damp sponge all the way round just to give a nice edge to your piece. So that's one done. So I hope you enjoyed the leaf making video of these kind of cute dishes. I recommend actually if you have like mixing bowls that nestle, is like perfect to make like nest nesting dishes which can look really cute. Um, so yeah, I hope you have fun making any leaf dishes and um, enjoyed this video. So um, let me know down below if there's anything you'd like to see from me or if there's any questions you have, I'll be more than happy to help. Um, so yeah, happy pottering. Bye.